What's up guys, it's your boy Jamek here coming at you with another deck tech. This is my blue black storm list. Um this deck's not really possible without um the Holy Trinity or yeah, the Holy Trinity of cards. Eh, maybe like four. No, really just three cards really that you really need to like for me to make storm work. Obviously one is tendrils, uh two is frantic search, and I guess three is like a ritual. Sometimes rituals you don't really need rituals all the time, but it's supposed to be like Frantic Search. Okay, I, I lied. Maybe like Frantic Search, Tendrils, and then after that you can kind of like make something happen. But things like Rituals, uh, Amulets, Turnabouts, those are like the things you kind of want to look for. Especially Frantic Search, because Frantic Search is one of the most busted free cards um, ever. Not the busted, but one of the bu most busted. But anyways, that's like the thing I look for when Rotation is upon us what's legal it's not legal and if frantic search isn't legal i don't try this deck I, I i typically do not try to make this deck but it is and i did win a tournament um i think like the first week it was like no it was like the second week of uh season 16 here and i want to clear up a couple of like random things that people are doing for that list that list was like fine i think it was fine it was a little untuned there's some cards that choices i i forgot but um for the most part the deck was good um I have a lot of experience with this list all the way back in season two when we didn't even have rituals and I was just playing with like lockets and frantic surges to make mana. It was kind of insane. So, and then throughout the seasons, like I, there are so many seasons where I played Storm or Champs of Sword Storm list. So, I guess I consider myself some sort of, a, dare I say, expert on Penny Dreadful Storm list. But, you know, here we are and I'm going to explain my thoughts and processes. Let's start with the lands, which is probably the most important part. I play 18 lands. You play so many cantrips that you don't need, like, I think more than 19, honestly. 18 is kind of pushing it, but I I don't want to, like, when I cast a Mind Star, I don't want to hit a bunch of lands. And that's what the last thing I want to see. Um, you really only need, like, 3 to 4 to go off. And you play so many, like, say, so many cantrips that, like, they look at a lot of cards. Dismal Backwater, please play Dismal Backwater in my original list. I always play some Bird Bowling Arch in my old list. So that was like the first like thing that went to my head when I was making that list. In fact, um, in the winning list of this season, I actually didn't even play Taplands for the longest time. I was playing Tendo Ice Bridge, but then I kind of like came to the conclusion that it's a it's a bit risky to play Tendo Ice Bridge uh, when you're going off or when you're kind of digging for cards. When you see an Ice Bridge early, it's really tough. Your your deck is very blue dependent, so you really need blue lands um, and eventually you need black lands to kind of kill your opponent. So. Um, this is like the a tap a tap dual land is obviously the concession to playing these decks, so you kind of have to play a couple. Um, but yeah, I I I jam, I jam some bird bone yard just because I'm just used to that card. Um, it's in my, my old storm list, so and I forgot that does well. You have all the gain lands thanks to um, Ikoria, I think Ikoria has the last set. So yeah, put Dizzle back order in your list. Don't when you look at a list, honestly, when you look at a page of a list. You could always look at a list and think about this could, list could use improvement. I think every list is never like fully tuned. I I think I make a lot of lists and I do pretty well every now and then. And I really say to myself, man, this list is like perfect. Uh, very rarely. And if I think a list is perfect, then I feel like I would hardly lose. So yeah, that list was not perfect, but I mean, I did end up winning. And one of the imperfections was... Uh, this land here. So play Dismal Backwater. Um, Waterville Cavern, a lot of people, again with dual lands, a lot of people are afraid to play cards like these because, oh no, the the uh, the drawback is terrible, but you need dual lands when you go off. Um, or when you just, just early on, when you're like, when you play as a turn one or two, you're going to tap out for a turn. It's not a big deal, really. It's not like a detriment. I think just having dual lands is really important. So, especially when you're going off. And you're in tapping all your lands anyway with a frank search turnabout. It doesn't really matter if this clause does not matter. This matters. It adds blue or black. That matters. Because you really need a ton of blue sources, but you don't want to just play raw swamps. And you don't want to play bad bad river. Because those comes to play tap. You don't want to play tap lands in your combo deck. So you really need to do this. Um, especially on the turns you're going off. Because blue is very important, as you can see here. I have like uh, nine islands. Nine islands and like two swamps, so it's really important you kind of go off. Uh, the card drawing selection, Opt. I really do like Opt. It's a cheap spell. It digs early for your lands. That's the, the big deal. You want to get, like I said, you want to hit about three to four lands. Four, actually four to five, preferably. 
uh, to kind of go off. So Optus help good at that. It's one of the cheapest cantrips you have. It was Scry, so you know, it looks at two. Shimmer uh, looks at four. That's what you really want. Uh, Anticipate looks at three. Pretty good. After that, the kind of card selection drops off. I was playing Ransack the Lab. It was another way to put cards in my graveyard uh, for like deep analysis stuff. So that, that had good value. I just settled on Discovery Dispersal, mostly Discovery, because you can cast it, you can still cast it off black, but you can cast it off blue too. So, um, Surveil 2 is not like the greatest. It's not as good as like Ransack the Lab, in my opinion, because you really only look at two cards. I mean, technically the third card, but you don't know what you're getting with that third card. So, it's only a two of. So, other cards you could try to play are like Pure Through Depths. But Peter Epson really find your amulet, which is really important for the deck, or lands. So Discovery is kind of like the baseline, like, yeah, whatever. You can also play Ransack the Lab. I think that's also a fine choice. Um, or even, like, I mean, Tally Time's not really great, but you could play that. But this is just my choice. I think this is just a flex slot. Um, so land on tapping parts, or just land produces, a uh, man produces general frantic search. Probably one of the best cards in your deck. It's a, a card you want to see uh, when you want to go off. I don't try to go off without a Frantic Search or some sort of mana producing thing like a Turnabout. So, but Frantic Search is like probably the most one of the most important cards. It does so many things, you know, makes mana, draws cards, um, does everything. You can cast these like kind of early too sometimes if you're trying to like set up some things if you're feeling a little desperate. You could also use this as like a bait, it's an instant. So you could bait a counter spell. Maybe people are trying to like... Um, People just hold up mana. You get to cast on their end step. Some people just get scared and counter everything they see. So Frantic Search is like super good at that. Uh, Turnabout also pretty amazing. Uh, I wouldn't play this deck without four, uh, in my opinion. It does a lot of things. Obviously, it makes mana for yourself uh, when you have like you know five or more lands. But an amulet makes it less. Uh, when you would flip an amulet, it makes a ton of mana. Um, but one of the biggest uses of this is it fogs. It either fogs your opponent's turn, it, it time locks your opponent, uh, make sure they don't have an untapped step for their lands, or it just untaps their creatures. And sometimes you need to do that in certain situations. So this card is incredibly flexible. Um, I would never play lists like this without four. Um, and I, I stand by that pretty much. Dark Ritual, uh, obviously it's a ritual. It's pretty great. It's one of the best rituals. Uh, enables turn to amulet, which is kind of one of your more busted draws. Uh, amulet's just really important to get on its early. I think, like, I don't, like, love amulet, but I think it's, like, the card that I need. Um, a lot, uh, other successful lists are playing Nightscape Familiar. I dislike Nightscape Familiar just because of uh, red removal spells, or just removal spells in general. It just enables your opponent to use their uh, removal spells game one. Uh, there's not really like, main deck hate for amulets, so game one, this card's pretty great. Uh, turn two, ritual amulet. I never try to go off without an amulet, but you, you certainly could, you certainly can. Um, it's it's definitely possible, but amulet makes everything just a way smooth, especially when you uh, transform the amulet into the primal wellspring, then all your spells are doubled. Rank search becomes like a super ritual slash card drawing engine. This is a super ritual. Uh, you start looking at like a bunch of cards with all these things. Um, one of the uh, issues I have with this list, though, is burst card draw. So deep analysis is kind of like the best burst card draw, I guess. I was playing with Plea for Power uh, in some test games, but that card's only really good when you can reduce the mana cost of it. Uh, deep analysis is fine. Um, you can discard it early off of like Frantic Search or Discovery here. And it just like gets you cards back at the, at the cost of some of your life. So even when this costs one in your graveyard with that one... One mana for two cards is, is fine. You know, it's just perfectly fine. So, like I said, you can discard it early with Frantic Search, and that's kind of the big thing about it. That you can discard it and still get value out of it. Uh, my Desire... I don't know what to say about this card. This card's busted. And, um, when you, when you can play four Mind's Desire in your deck, um, this kind of leads up to some broken things. My Desire and the Mind's Desire is basically game-ending. Uh, that's what you want to hit all the time. Since in the past, basically, uh, Yawgmoth's Will, or Expensive Sandcaster Mage, however you want to call it, uh, a really typical line is just like, since in the past, you Mind's Desire, after you've gotten discarded or something like that. So, you can cast out a bunch of rituals. It's, it's pretty fine. It's a pretty good card, honestly. It's good to hit off of Mind's Desire. It acts as like another Mind's Desire. So, that's pretty great. It's, a, it's just a really strong card. Uh, and then, of course, Tendrils. Probably the only kill condition I want um, in the main deck. Some people play Brain Freeze. Um... It's just harder to do with Hedy Dreadful. Storming to like 20, 21 is it's pretty tough. It, I mean, even with Mind's Desire, 
But if you have to, you kind of have to hit my desire. So sometimes you can like uh tendrils offer just normal cards, honestly, and just ten is enough. I play two tendrils, obviously, um, just because I, you can like baby like I said, it's paying dreadful, so you don't really have like tons of free spells. But you can kind of like, baby storm for like five or six, and then pick it up later. Sense of the sense of the past helps out as well when they're in your graveyard. Uh, sideboard sideboards about like react sideboards about reacting to your opponents what they're gonna do to you not just like general sideboards so um you see, you see creatures like terramander and marine mystic that's because people like to play slaughter games for more side effects or like duresses and things like that so you need like an alternate win con sometimes i i, I like terramander i think it's pretty good um i would play curious amongulus if it was legal that's been on my, a lot of my old list but terramander is pretty good you can flip this pretty easy by like turn three or four Probably four, really. Um, but and you get five five dragon for four. It's not that bad. You know, that's not that bad at all. Memory Mystic as well. You kinda of turn into a prowess deck. You just kinda of like chain off spells, make a bunch of birds, like that. Um I've been happy with this package, honestly. Uh duresses are against counter spells. Uh Temporal Fisher, um more mid range decks. You know, I don't think you really need this card, but uh it's just kind of a standby in my list. Um It's good if your opponent um has like something like uh Gideon's Intervention or um Ivory Masks or you know things that give them hex proof. Like it's just good you just bounce all their permanents and then next turn you go off again. Something like that, something silly. Uh Boomerang, a lot of people play like Winds of Rebuke. Uh this again is for like things like Defting Silence, um like permanents that try to disrupt you. Like, you know, hex proof like effects, things like that. Uh there's one can in this. Uh, even lands. If someone's holding like one white, then that means they're probably playing Silence or Orange Chant, so you just bounce their land. And that's why I'm playing Boomerang over things like uh, Disperse like effects. It's hard to cast. Double blue is kind of hard, but it, it is worth it, I think. And then Send to Sleep is a little like anti aggro package. Um, aggro, probably like Monterey, it's probably one of your hardest matchups. So you just kind of want to stall the game. You're trying to try stall the game as long as you can until you can get your kind of engines online and start playing and start doing your thing. So I'm gonna play the league today. Um, it's gonna be five rounds. Um, I, I I enjoy playing this deck in leagues more than tournaments. It's kind of hard to like focus because every tournament lately I've been streaming, so it's just kind of hard to focus while just trying to be entertaining and stream and play. So I'm gonna do this in a league so I can get my full attention plus like try to make like decent commentary. Um, so if you wanna just skip around, uh, though there'll be uh, timestamps in a uh, the description below so just click around figure out and um yeah let's count to 10 with this deck all right round one with their uh penny dreadful black storm uh this is a mulligan uh, i would keep those two lands but i'm on the play i really need to hit a second land here again i think mulligan's not the, the mulligans are not bad in this i'm gonna keep this Hopefully I draw a ritual off this oft. Actually, I need a black source of mana, never mind. Uh so maybe yeah, I'm just trying to hit some lands, I guess. Up on a mulligan. Hey, it says I have a fan. It says hi, I love your videos. Great, thank you. I really appreciate all the comments. Never be afraid to talk to me. Very accessible. <laughs> try to try to answer all everyone's comments. Good. As long as people want the videos, I'll keep continue making them. I mean, I just do it for my. I mean, I did it for myself. That's how I started to do these. I just, I, I started streaming and making videos because I didn't like other people's content. <laughs> Not just paint general, just like magic content in general. I was like, man, this is really easy, and people just had like a really like this is at a time before like arena stuff. So it just seemed very low effort. So I also decided to make my low effort things. I'm gonna keep this in the case of draw a swamp or a waterville cavern here. Okay. I didn't expect to draw two of them, so I need to draw like lands. Someone's playing black, so they might be playing like the rest, the rest of things like that. That'd be uh, kind of annoying to see. Like, sign of blood, great. One less storm for me to have there. Okay. This is fine. Um, can't really do anything about this right now. I draw a swamp, I'm definitely like double ritualing into amulet and maybe it's drawing deep analysis. 
I could be a bit annoying. I could start stealing lands. So I could start playing like a devotion deck. Or this guy's just like kind of good. <laughs> He's not good. I really need to draw a black swords of mana here. Been a bit of fortunate. Even like a, I would take a Dismal Backwater at this point. Maybe this was a Moloch. I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. I, I think I would like find a land at this point. Watch my this be my wild Rare cavern here. Even else, that's fine. That's a fine take. Um, we'll be fine with that. As long as I play something like a Desecration Demon, which is a really big clock, uh, I think I'll be fine with whatever is happening. They can't really black can't really respond to artifacts that well without like making me discard it. So. I think once I get this amulet online, it should be good. Okay, there's a backwater. So, um, it should be good. We should be good. Um, ritual, ritual will cast um, the amulet. Then I'll have an extra mana for deep analysis. So I can start putting counters on the end. So, I, I, I don't mind what's taken here. Unless it's a tendrils. Tendrils would be the worst card to take right now. I, I still have one left in the deck. So. Like it, if it's two tendrils, I've lost. Island, totally fine. They can deep analysis themselves, go right ahead. You might never play your land before you um, do attack, because you might hit a land off your opponent there. Um, okay. Actually, I might cast a Discovery. It's kind of a better card, because I can actually chain more spells here. Can I just go off? No. I'd rather just play the Amulet. I'm not no danger of dying, so... I'm gonna use the blue mana. To... I'm actually gonna use the blue mana because I want to keep the black mana in case I draw something like a, a ritual. Um, I haven't played a land yet. What's in the top? Deep analysis myself. And it's a pretty good setup for next turn. If I don't die next turn, then I, I think I'm pretty set up to try to do something here. Okay. Because I'm going to make a ton of mana. Like a lot of mana. I don't know how many cards I'll draw, but I will draw. I can. I'll draw four off the amulet. I'll, I'll probably just use the amulet to draw cards. See what hits here. If I had to guess, my opponent has like tons of removal spells in their hand. They're completely useless. Backwater. Right? They can analysis themselves. It puts that's the funny part about analysis, it puts it in my graveyard. That's the greatest part. So it actually that actually helps me quite a bit. Okay. Right, they're gonna move the discard. Let's see, they'll probably discard a rule spell. Two swamps. Okay, that's a really good card. Okay, this. Okay, um. Black mana. Okay, this is gonna flip. I can, so I can still make a. I'm gonna flip into the primal uh, wellspring here. So I can make another land, make another island here. Get that tapped and untap. Um, I'm gonna make a ton of mana first. Always want to make blue mana here. Black mana you can get later. I actually make a black mana with the uh, primal wellspring. I'll just make like a couple of black mana because I have a bunch of uh, I have a bunch of sins in the past in my hand. Up, draw four cards here. Okay, frantic search. Totally going off now. Copy this. All right, it is really fast. I'm just really used to it. <laughs> I haven't made a land drop yet, so I'm actually just gonna take that land. So. The second trigger here, I'm going to make a bunch of more blue mana. Trigger here. Eh, I want. 
like a swamp, I guess. Blue mana is really important. Um, I see people make black mana all the time. It's like, you really just want blue mana. Throw out my card drawing. It's like five. Um, frantic search. Really, the whole point of this part is just like finding frantic searches. They make mana and draw you a bunch of cards. And now my opponent's very bored. Look how much mana it's made. Oh. Really need mana. This at eighteen, baby safety storm. I'll take his mind desire. Let me have the copy thing anyway. All right. I mean, this is what happens when your my opponent doesn't do anything. I'm just like free to kind of like draw my cards. Um, let's see. My opponent's playing mono black. Uh, I can only imagine that they're going to play discard spells against me. There's it's not much I can do against that. Uh, I don't actually like playing cards like negate in my sideboard. Um, I think just having holding up mana is like really weird. Especially when you're playing cards like Shimmer and like uh, Discovery Dispersal. Those are sorcery speed spells. You want to cast those all the time. You want to be digging. I don't know if I'm going to play Terramander yet. Um, I'm not sure if I'm playing something like Thought Distortion, but if the game goes that long, that's going to stink. I play the Fish, uh, the Mystic, just because I think my opponent might be casting more sides on me. So I'm not going to play Terramanders yet. So I, cut, so I, I usually cut Tendrils in the spot. I just cut one in case. Actually, I'll, I'll play two, just because it's a kid to discard. I was trading, like, I was up trimming a Sins. <laughs> I, I think Sins is great, but I always trim these to, like, one. And I'll just trim one of these. Kind of like the worst card drawing. Yeah, I, I think this is okay. A lot of people don't have, like, you don't have to over sideboard either. Like, your deck's a combo deck, so it's hard to, like, kind of move around pieces. This is fine, I can keep Double amulet, so kind of protected against like discard spells. What would suck is something like, oh, well, not even this hand, but like, even like a persecute wouldn't be that bad. They have a deep analysis. They're really just looking for a fourth land or a ritual. I can uh, cast an amulet really early. Ritual off the top would be pretty great. All right, timer in. Next they are playing Devotion. Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, Friendly Search is pretty good. I can take that. Putting a Mystic on a bomb is not super great. This deck doesn't really shuffle its deck, other than playing Mind Desire. Ooh, they missed the land drop. That's not good. And it turned into speed here. Cast an amulet, and then just start going off. I'll just in instantly go off. If I can get this, if I have this kind of setup, I'm instantly going to go off. The opponent only has two cards in her hand, or two lands in play. Yep. Unkick Gatekeeper. One of the sad things in life, but it's probably fine here. Oh, wait, 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 don't have six, don't have six, don't have six. <laughs> I come, I'm completely like, um, you always want to use your mana as much as you can. That's not some place I'll play this on my main phase, but I want to hold up appearances, I suppose. All right, I'll take a dark rich. Yeah, I'll take a dark ritual. I guess I could try to start going off now. I'll find another mind's desire. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> not gonna lie, that was a really good draw. Um. Start the show here. Okay, let's start with this. Cost two with the uh, amulet. Definitely discarding the deep analysis. That's two. Uh, I'm just thinking. Probably amulet. 
So, yeah, definitely Amulet Analysis would probably be the best discard here. Three. Take some mana here. I'm going to actually... Before I do this, I'm actually going to draw off the deep analysis. Okay, um, might come, let's see, probably have to use his opt to draw a bunch of cards. Let's see what I hit here. I'm definitely getting some good cards here. Three. Um, I make a ton of mana first. I'm actually going to use both of the uh, copied sources. I just want like a billion mana. What color is mana? Making all black, uh, blue mana. I used I I used one of my blue mana there, but I kind of want like one black mana just for this dark ritual. I want to draw a bunch of cards. Uh, I'll cash them all. I'll draw six. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Make much more mana. Still not there yet, obviously. I need to hit a... I just need to copy more spells here. Uh, Let's dig. Okay, there's a Mind's Desire. It's kind of what I need here. Let's keep doing things. We'll keep the copy mana for now. All right, it's a tendril. So I guess my punch is dead. Okay, um, do this. Let's just end the game here. All right, that's a nice turn four. That was a really resolved turn four. That was a really good ritual draw. Really another frantic search. Very really clean, but I couldn't, my opponent didn't really do anything. So they did miss a land drop or two. But yeah, that's a really clean turn four. That was pretty decent. Everything kind of just worked out there. All right, round two is a painted full uh, blue black storm list. Uh, it's a mulligan. You need blue mana to start. Also, two lanes would be nice. Definitely a mulligan. I'll keep this. Um, it has a high potential, and I'm on the draw, so this actually has super high potential to be really good. Um, yeah, it's really high potential. I'm gonna kill the frantic search out the way. Like the opt to look for a land, or just have a land on the top. This is a very high potential hand. I don't like going to five really, although I've like one to five plenty of times. Especially against like mid-range decks, which I thought it might be on. Okay, double opt as well for land. Yeah, I just want a second source of mana here. Okay, so if I draw a black source, this is really good. Yeah, I'll definitely keep just riskier hands, because I, I mean, I know that these hands are like so good, it's <laughs> so hard to come by here. It's probably like a couple birds or okay, pilgrim. Okay, uh, not good. Okay, oh, I found another opt at least. At least I'm casting spells. I'll tell you that much. Okay. 
ex opponent just playing a green white. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, they're playing the twin deck. I see presence of Gone here, so this twin deck is a Midnight, okay, Sunstrike Legionnaire. Okay, might be dead. They took the presence of Gond. That means I die in two turns. They just make a billion guys. So this thing, presence of Gond, uh, makes a creature, you tap it, and when it works, you play, you untap this. So, might be dead in two turns. So I need to find a black source of mana with this Shimmer. Not that it's going to be enough, um, but I need to kind of kill them next turn. Because this turn they can make a billion guys, but they don't have haste. So, so there's kind of like two combo decks going off. Okay, totally fine. Like I said, I, this deck is very like sorcery speed. So I have one turn to go off, and I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna do my best here. If, if I draw a frantic search at some point at this hand here, it would be pretty great. If I kept that frantic search, this game would have been a lot different in my opening hand. Okay, let's try. I have to go for double ritual first. I want to keep all my black mana as much as I can, or blue mana rather. Okay, this really needs to hit a uh, frantic search. Otherwise, the game's kind of over. Okay, um. I guess I need to hit discovery now off of this anticipate. Or it has to be like ritual. Yeah, this game's over. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of rough. It's kind of rough to hit a second source of mana. I had a lot going on. Imagine if I kept the uh, the, the frantic search there. That would have been interesting. That would have been like really interesting. Okay, Sunstrike Legionnaire. Um, I guess I like Boomerang and Send to Sleep. Those all bounce cards or stall the game, so... I guess I have to bring in stuff like that. They are playing Benevolent Bodyguard, so it's something to think about. I say I would just shave this. I, I this is always like the worst card drawing, so I just kind of cut these. I like just shaving like card drawing spells early on. Deep analysis might be a bit slow, so I'm gonna cut one of those. Um, I think I like an anticipate. Yeah, that was just like a high risk hand that I kept. I, I I felt pretty confident about it. I do it again. Maybe I would keep the frantic search and like cut cut the anticipate. I think it's the only. It's the only thing I would probably do differently. Frantic Search is really good, but early on it doesn't really do much, but you always want to see one. It is the key, like I said, when you want to go off, so maybe I should have just kept the frame. Hindsight. Funny. My opponent actually had a super fast start. Um, they already had the Legionnaire, and they had the, the, the Gon, so they that was pretty quick for them. There's only like four gods, I think. I think there's Elemental Mastery too. I don't know if um, that's legal, but some decks are like Naya based. This might be just green white based. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'll keep this. I'm uh, looking for. Amulet would be pretty good to find, I think. Um, put on the bottom for now. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. It's a lot of mana. I have a lot of mana. Um, I could try to like baby that mind desire. It'd be really tough. I don't. I'd only try to attempt that if I was like under duress. But this does make a pretty good turn four. Okay. Depending on if they already have the presence or elemental mastery might be ridiculous. Um that would force me to turn about them. Okay. Digging. 
Alright, they have a deafening silence. That's pretty good. I did bring in boomerang, so not like the death knell. Oh, I have to find a boomerang then. They're thinking about it. I don't know. They took the silence. I don't know what they're thinking about. I guess they're thinking about if I have a counter spell or not. Luckily, I brought in the boomerangs. Said. Hmm. I guess I'll take the land. That's a bit of a bit of an annoying card to see. But like I said, I, I brought in boomerang, so all's not lost. But I'm actually kind of low on card drawing spells here. Alright, I did find an amulet, so. My opponent has like a master. I think they're just green white. If I had to guess, I think they're just green white. So, um, it's not the end of the world yet. Just need to find boomerang. Sure. Maybe Midnight Guard. Like, a little more expensive, uh, Sunstrike Legionnaire. Okay. More cards that don't do anything. I thought I would have attacked this guy. I want to end this game soon. It even sins anything, because <laughs> sins is like a spell. <laughs> Double silences. Quite the quite the card here. I need to find two boomerangs. Opt. All right, I have a plan. Uh, I could find a boomerang and flip my amulet. It's going to require me to sort of play it interestingly here. I'm gonna tap all their lands. This is gonna give me an extra turn. I can't play I can't beat three I can't beat three silences. So I'm gonna tap all their lands this turn. I have enough mana in play. Okay. On my next turn I will anticipate. Hopefully I find a boomerang or something. Yeah, they just draw all mana sources here. Alright, there's a frantic search. Keep this land in my hand. I don't really need any more land. There's a tendrils. Um I'm just taking the tendrils. I'm just wondering if I burn a Frantic Search or I burn a Dark Ritual here. I might just burn a Dark Ritual. <laughs> no, I need to burn this Frantic Search here. Fine. Nothing is happening, so... I am, I am at 6. Okay. But I do need to... I think I do need to use this Frantic Search here. I do need to look for a boomerang. Let's 
So yeah, the frame search is nothing without a card. Uh, it needs to be right here, actually. Oof. Okay, this was really lucky. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. This was really lucky, <laughs> but I, I did play to this point. I had to play exactly to this point. Do they have an Orms chant? Oh my goodness. They just had it all. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. They are really not trying to lose this get deck. <laughs> I really had everything. <laughs> I really just did played, I think, pretty well. Um Alright, so I can't cast any more spells this turn. I think I did everything I could up there. <laughs> so, um, All right, I'm at one, so. <laughs> I get to draw another boomerang, I guess. I could have brought in dresses against Orm Chant. It's not too bad, but. So I need to draw another boomerang. Okay, they can only play one, so... Alright, Boomerang or Bust. Otherwise, I have to figure out other ways to... <laughs> God, they drew another Orange Chant. That's amazing. And I drew the Boomerang! Oh my goodness. That is... Oh my gosh. That was... That's so... <laughs> That's so disheartening. That's so disheartening. <laughs> I can't lie. It is like incredibly disheartening they top decked another horse chant. <laughs> Cause this would have been one of the greatest comebacks. Oh man. Uh let me think. I can't cast any spells this turn. And I can't really boomerang my life away here. Yeah, it's game. That's rough. That was a rough one. Maybe if I had to turn about it, they're creatures. I don't know. Uh that was tough. I think I played about as good as I could have against that. <laughs> Probably actually really good, but I'm kind of, I just had a little more better card, so I got that one. All right, round three with the uh, Penny Dreadful Blue Back Storm list. I'm still reeling over that last loss. I actually immediately jumped into another match. This is a really good hand. I'm going to keep it. Um, I should have probably taken a small break or something. <laughs> Kind of like recollect myself, but yeah, I'm gonna get right back into it. Backwater mirror, maybe they're playing storm too. Who knows? I think playing control, who knows? Hammer, I will take this mind's desire. I do have a double ritual draw. Which technically, I can kind of go off. If I draw a Frantic Search, I could kind of just like cast a little Mind's Desire. Okay, I think they're playing Storm too. So, in this matchup, you just want to go as fast as humanly possible. If I draw a Frantic Search, I'm just going to go for it. I think. All right. Oh, they're playing my version. The Ransack the Lab. Or at least the Ransack Deep Analysis is a really great combo there. Doesn't really net a ton of mana. I could desire for four. I don't think I really need to. I'm not in any danger of dying here. So. Opt. I just take the opt here. I 
interesting. I might try to baby desire here next turn, okay. Yeah, I kind of want to go off here. Or turn about my opponent. Alright, I'm going to go off. I'm going to try here. Ritual. Ritual. Anything just like is a free spell, I guess. Tap. Um, I have eight mana at my disposal. I guess I'll just dissipate. Frantic Search is basically a free card here, so. I'm going to discard the Mind's Desire because it can send the Mind's Desire. It's just a better sort of outcome here. Leads to a bigger... Um... Okay. Mind's Desire here. I'm gonna mind desire for nine. Okay, let's see opt. Another sins. Never. It's a tendril. Sorry, the game's over. Sweet. Um. Let's see what's opt. Could have used that. Doesn't really matter. I'm just casting spells here. Own it. All right, so that's an example of not needing amulet to win. All right, sideboard. How do we sideboard here? Duressa is a pretty imp important here. Um, being on the uh, the draw here is a little tough. I could play Temporal Fisher. It is a really annoying card to play. I just like just jamming Duressas and just hoping for the best. I'll cut two of these. Sins is not bad uh, against opponents' duresses, so I'm actually going to keep these in. You could go for the Terramander plan. I think it's a bit risky. It depends. I might do. I might do a game three if I if this goes to a game three. I guess I can like. Frame anticipates. They're like the second worst card drawing. Card. Yeah, I'm just going to board in duresses. All right, I like this hand. I'll keep this. Not super strong against duress, but I do have my own duress. Really want to hit like an amulet or a frantic search with this. It really just depends though. Amulet would be the best draw for a card to hit. They have their own duress. Frantic search. This is not bad, honestly. Um, but I will take the amulet. One of the scariest cards here. I'll probably just dress me back this turn. They have something better to do. Uh, yeah. Well, they'll probably take the frantic search. I would take the frantic search. Honestly, I think it's the scariest card in my hand. Opt is also an option. Um, that's why I just left it in there, just to kind of protect the frantic search. So, like, if you don't frantic, take my frantic search. I'm gonna opt or whatever. So that could be like a bait, yeah. It's like they're listening, but they can't because I'm not streaming. 
But yeah, Frantic Surge is one of the most broken cards in this deck. Uh, I'm going to keep this on top. I may need it. Alright, keep the black mana untapped in case I draw. Okay. Amulet's what I'm looking for here. Even if it don't draw a land, I have the ritual to power this out. Okay, they got a Frank search. They're probably gonna discard the deep analysis and try to draw three card two cards. That's uh, not a bad use of Frank Search, honestly. Ooh, they started two deep analysis. This is fine. Um ooh, what's a what's a big time duress? I'm gonna get my uh primal amulet. If they took the dark ritual, they're pretty greedy. Okay, they didn't even try to cast two, so they must have drawn like another card drawing spell there. Another aim there, that'd be pretty strong. I feel like I'm taking the ritual, honestly. <laughs> what if I just like went off this turn? No, I don't have enough black mana. I kind of want to take the Ritual, honestly. Well, the next turn I could, like... I'm going to take the Frantic Search, actually. The next turn I could, like, Ritual, Frantic Search, My Desire, or something like that. My opponent's pretty low on cards. Um, they didn't they didn't bother to use the, the Deep Analysis. That's really interesting. I don't know what they were holding up mana for. That's fine. Okay, I might be trying to Baby Desire, but... They're going to draw, like, four cards next turn. I don't know how desperate I am right now. I don't really have much going on. I'm going to see what happens here. I haven't played a land yet. Okay, there's an amulet. It doesn't really lead into much, though. All right, let me do some math. If I... Wanna I guess I'll discard the amulet. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the worst mind desire of all time, maybe. No. I don't know. Maybe my I don't think my I don't know if my opponent can go off next turn. They might be able to. If they have a Frank search in hand, one of the cards is Mind's Desire. They have a bunch of um they're gonna draw four cards next turn. That's just like a that's just like a no brainer. I could baby Mind's Desire here. It, it might be one of the worst Mind's Desires of all time. Or I guess I could just like pray that my opponent's not going to kill me. Because next this turn I have to cast this uh, Pray My Amulet. And then I have to hope to draw anything. So maybe I just go off here. Or attempt to go off. Which means I have to discard the Amulet. Alright. No wait. No, I, this is a Frantic Search. I could untap my lands. There's no way I can cast Ritual, Amulet, and do this. It's like 5 mana. It's too much mana. Like 9 mana when I only have like 8, 7. Okay, I'm gonna... I guess I'll try to get lucky. Um, this is not a good idea. I don't, I don't, I don't acknowledge this. It's... I don't uh, endorse this, but I think I feel desperate. What's this? I should have, see, I should have just. It's just baby tendrils for now. It'll buy me some time, unless my opponent super goes off. All right, my opponent has like super go off, and also like makes 
like casting double um it makes casting double uh deep analysis really risky because that next turn i could just like kind of go off or like baby go off and kind of kill them so they're gonna go to three but i mean you gotta risk it for the biscuit here they might go to three i don't know but this time i, I like the storm three at this point okay yeah i think they're just gonna go off i, I think they're gonna try to do this if they have a frantic search, if they find a frantic search, it's gonna be amazing. I was lucky to get the ritual there. I kind of wish I had not played my land because I didn't really need to play my land. I could have played the land off the uh, off the my desire there. So maybe maybe I shouldn't have played my land. Because I could have had a land in this in my hand. If I draw like a frantic search, then like this frantic search will net me a card in some way. So they're working on flipping this amulet. Which is really the key to victory. So Deep analysis would be the best card here. See, yeah, I drew a frantic search. So I would have had an extra card in my hand with the uh, extra land. And then maybe I could have like drawn into something, but as it stands, it's still pretty. It's pretty tough to go off unless I mean they have the mind's desire, so I can only just sit here and wait. I went for it. I think that was like a reasonable time to go for it. If I wait. I guess I get the rest. I, if I just wait there, I, I get the rest, and then I lose my mind's desire, and then I have nothing. Alright, turnabout makes a bunch of mana. So, I'm at 33. Um, a lot of storm. About like storm um, 17. So, that's. I could definitely live through this, but that means I have to like. If they give me like storm for like 15, that means I have to storm the back for like 15. But, you can easily draw your deck here. Uh, give them the right amount of cards and a bit of luck. Like I said, I know they have the Mind Desire in their hand, so they're really trying to maximize how many spells they can cast before using his Mind Desire. They could goof up and pay three life to cast his Deep Analysis. That would kill them. Um, that would absolutely kill them. It'd be really hilarious, but I don't think they're going to do that. There's no need of cards right now. It would be something that someone does. That's just like a sort of like, you know, let me just do this, whatever. Bunch more mana. Just another free spell. That's why I'm watching this happen. I could work on my, uh, I could work on the thumbnail for this video while I'm just waiting. Maximize my time here. I think the thumbnails. I've been really, I've been really enjoying thumbnail thumbnail making a little bit. Old. I'll just say the mirror, like the mirror. It's more like me. I never really called card or decks like. Uh, I'm old school, so I never really used like the guild names. I even played during the original Raptica. So I was like Blue Black or Rug or Bug. But I guess those names Demir. Hey. Image as B. 
right, that's that. Alright, it's a big Mind's Desire. Um, sins for another Mind's Desire, and I hit another Mind's Desire, I'm pretty much dead. Yeah, they can just draw their deck here. So let this go. It's just pretty trivial at this point. I'm not gonna concede. Just so you can see what's going. My opponent literally could mess up though and try to cast his deep analysis from their graveyard. <laughs> that's the only that's the only thing I'm banking on. They obviously already either have the tendrils or are just gonna draw their deck. They, I wouldn't have done that there, but they have the sins of the past anyway. As soon as I see a tendrils in this in this flip, I will just concede. Otherwise, I can do let's go, but once see one tendrils, the game's over. It's just a matter of time. I'm gonna run it back. Um, yeah, I went for this like kind of risky play, but I don't think I get an untap step because I just get I get the rest there, and the duress probably like takes my like amulet or mind's desire. So I think I'm happy that I tried to I tried to do something. I think I was like behind the whole time. <sighs> okay, another one of these one land opt hands. I'm gonna. It's hard to get. It's hard to play against the rest deck here. I'm going to keep. It's not ideal, but I. I feel like if I get the rest, it's gonna be really bad. It's not an ideal keep, but I will do my best to be very really lucky. Right. I think he's gonna do this. No. Fine. Just if I get the rest, then it's like if I get the rest, it's gonna be really bad because then I lose my ritual. Okay, it's totally. I'm looking for an amulet here. Well, Amelia doesn't help me cast deep analysis at all. Oh, I'll put it on the back. Alright, I'm just gonna send this draw two cards. Wow, didn't draw land. Okay, okay. I kind of uh, gotten back to from my uh, mulligan draw here. Everyone just setting up the deal. Really need to draw land so I can play this uh, Shimmer. Okay. Ritual would be a really good draw. I could Ritual uh, Amulet and then still kind of get out of this mana slump here. Or just like cast an Amulet the hard way. Tough, 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 tough. Casting a shimmer, it looks at more cards, obviously. Island. Alright, um, I think I'm dead. <laughs> My opponent has an untapped amulet. They're gonna untap with an amulet and play. I really haven't done anything. I, I just got a little unlucky. Uh, I did keep a risky one lander, but it didn't, it didn't work out too bad. Blowing the black mana, um, it's only okay if you have a ritual. Like I said, I always try to make blue mana. Blue mana is really important. These kind of uh, storm turn. Yeah, they figured it out.
Yeah, I feel like this amulet's flipping this turn, and I might not be dead. I don't know. It depends on like a turnabout situation. Um, I do have a, a, a bunch of mana. I haven't really looked at what they discarded. Yeah, this is a turnabout turn. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. I I, I couldn't just draw lands. That's pretty tough. Add this mana. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty experienced. It's pretty good. So, I'm, I'm thinking they have a big mind desire here, or um, something. I'm sure, they have like another another turnabout, then mind desire. That's pretty strong. I wouldn't actually copy the turnabout here. They have so much mana. I don't know what they need more mana for. Because if your last card is mind desire, which I'm, I'm pretty sure it is, you don't need this much mana. Unless you're like really trying to copy a bunch of spells. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. Um, I guess if you like flip this uh, desire here and you need to like cast some of the cards that you're like, um, like if they're just all like card drawing spells, I guess you could use a million mana, but you have so much mana. Wait, what? Okay, they're just tapping all their mana so you can cast desire. It's the only reasonable, yeah. It's the only reasonable card they could have here. I would have copied it all. There is potential you whiff. All right, they did not. Win. Wow, that was one of the best desires I've ever seen. Okay, all right, you got it. <laughs> yeah, I mean th that was kind of tough. My opponent got to play four lands and an amulet. I didn't, so I lost. That's tough to win lose on the draw, but oh well. All right, we're getting another match over there. Pain, Dreadful, Black Storm. One. For the mulligan. I think not a good hand. Not this again. Maybe I'll just go to five. If I've learned anything, maybe going to five is good. I'm on the play. I'll just go to five. All right. It's fine. Not really fine, but it's good enough. Never can kind of bring me back here. Frank Search is not the best best look here, but whatever. The take. I think it's best if I draw an amulet that I have four mana to cast it. Lord Pouncer getting catted? This is a weird Okay. That's just like a weird looking like car promo from like the outside. Okay. Looking for an amulet here. Got it. Alright. I don't die by turn five here. Um, okay, you might be able to do something. Green white cats. Okay. But I don't get like, uh, what is it? King of the Pride, something like that. I, I used to play that card. What is that card called? The one that makes like all their cats plus two plus one. I'm not getting that. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna play the amulet. I'm not in danger of dying, so I can just wait a turn to save the storm. I don't have a lot of cards in my hand for Franks, which would be good, so I think it goes wait. Nice Blossom and Sands art. Sylvan Library, sure. Okay, let's uh start the show here. I'm trying to keep turn out my hand as long as I can. Uh, I haven't played a land yet. Frank, the second Frenic Surge is a bit tough. It's kind of hard disadvantage. 
So this op just kind of has to hit. Unless I just do op this, frenetic search again. But then it's like, it's kind of tough. The mulligan did not help. The op just kind of has to hit. So maybe I just take frenetic search here. A little tough. Wow. Um, this is uh, uh, this is rough. Yeah, I think I have to take the shimmer here. Kind of hope for the best. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm a discovery. Um, yeah, graveyard. I can actually cast this reasonably. Um, okay. I go for a big mind's desire here. Sins of sin. I'm gonna go for it all here. <laughs> all right, all right, the game's over. All right, that, that worked out. Let's see this. I try not to waste my bonus time. Yeah, okay. Um Green White. Um hopefully they don't play. I I'm I'm just guessing they have like deafening silences. If I see if I see Orm's chain, I'll bring in the Duresses, but it looks like they'd be an aggro deck, so I'm just gonna bring in like the Send the Sleeps here. Maybe Murmuring Mystic is good against good at kind of blocking. I think they'll bring in like Graveyard Hate, so Sin for the Past is a little worse there. It's got all the sense. I'm just gonna call this in. Uh, a mulligan for me. I'm gonna keep this. Maybe. It has high potential. Very high potential, but if I don't draw a second item, just bone. I actually want to go to five. Okay, I can keep this hand. Hand seems fine. Not really, but. Hand's not actually that fine. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to four. Wild Nakatl. Okay, it is a cat. <laughs> I guess it's a 2 2 cat. If you play a plane, that's actually not that bad. If you, I guess if you, Evolving Wilds for a forest, first, a mountain, pretty good. See, that's a 2-2 two -two on turn one. All right. Okay. <laughs> right, we're doing it the hard way. <laughs> if I need to, I can bounce this.
Are they just casting it or mutating it? How do I know the difference? Like they're just casting it, I guess. It mutates for three minutes. Why didn't it just mutate it? So interesting card. So Naya Cats, okay. Why didn't they just mutate? I don't know. Did they know I have Boomerang in my deck? Scythe Tiger. Okay. This is very aggressive. I'm going to bounce this just to save me some life. I can't actually send to sleep this guy. It's a bit annoying. Okay, if I draw another land and I don't die next turn, I could actually just my desire for like three, and that might be good enough. I'm going to try to like save my life as much as I can. I get attacked for five here. Steep cost to add red to your deck, but I guess the I guess this kinda helps. Okay. Gain life land pretty good. Um I don't think I'm dying to a mutate. Unless Unless they mutate twice. That'd be a bit annoying. Okay, lead a stampede. They, oh, they just, they don't reveal, they just look. Okay. Okay, next turn, I need a really good card off this frantic search. Or you just draw a very good card. Free spell would be kind of nice. Two, four cards. Okay, I am dead next turn. Wow. This, cat, this is a cat too? What the heck? Okay. So I need to go off this turn. They they drew a bunch of cards. <laughs> These are the cats. They, one of them mutates, I think. Yeah, after next turn, regardless. Boomerang is not really the droids we're looking for. It, it, it can't be discarded. Okay, there's another. Okay, I don't have mana to like do everything, so all right. I mean, yeah, this is all I got. <laughs> and dead next turn. Ooh, <laughs> what a whiff. What a whiff. Okay, that was not the strongest mind's desire. That was not the strongest mind's desire. <laughs> Maybe I don't need the boomerangs. Maybe they're not playing Deafening Silences. I'm just like putting it out there. If they're playing something like Lead to Stampede, maybe they're not playing Deafening Silences. So maybe I could just kind of like try to go all in on this card drawing. Honestly, I don't think they're playing Graveyard Hate either. Uh, I think they're just trying to kill me. <laughs> but maybe I, I just like don't sideboard. I, I bring in a couple send to sleeps and just call it a day. Actually, Mermaid Mystic could be good if I don't like do my thing. That deck's interesting. As I said, to sleep, a bunch of like two mana draw spells. Oh my god, my stomach. I need to eat. Game lands used to be like the bane of my existence when I played Old Storm List because it actually means I had to storm one more time. At least I'm like a definitely sign some ooh god. Okay. My, my choice is simple there. I'm going to lose. I'm just going to lose. I have no outs to it. Um I mean I do have the murmuring mystic in my deck. Definitely science would be very annoying. Play versus. Alright, this is me disrespecting my opponent. 
Uh, I feel pretty bad about this, but I, I am a dope. So now I'm looking for a Murmuring Mystic. There we go. <laughs> It'll kind of like gum up the board for a bit and kind of help me out. I don't think my opponent's going to play removal spells. I am a dope. I am I am a big dope here. I, should, I probably should just like know that my opponents are going to play Deafening Silence if they're in white. They only even hold like the mana here. Or never mind. But yeah, these Mystics, this Mystic needs to come down this next turn. Okay, I can still hit a land here, so I am going to use this Frantic Search. Sit on the land. Discard this. This. So... With no Alice of Deafening Silence, my, my route to victory here is just casting a new spell every turn. This will block quite a bit. Okay. At least this replaces itself, so it's not like the worst card in the world. Sideboard. But now we get to see how we beat a Deafening Silence, right? Am I right? Not the greatest attack. I mean, they could start suiciding their creatures, but I wouldn't really like that as an attack. I'm going to just block this. Probably the 2-1. It's the first thing to block. This thing in the graveyard is not super awesome. But it just comes back as a gigantic guy. It does suck to this thing as Shroud. I could have actually. I need to like kind of maximize my turns because I can only really cast one spell a turn. So I really need to like cast a spell every turn. I'm just double blocking this next turn. Okay. That's a bit of an annoying card. Oh, they mutated on this guy. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, so it's already a guy? Okay, this is that's me like not knowing how mutate works. <laughs> Cuz I I could have easily have responded to that. I just don't know how mutate works. Turn about. It's gonna really fog my opponent for a bunch of turns. It's gonna be a very slow gr grind to me winning this. Right, so mutates like bestow, I guess. I gotta get in my attacks when I can here. Um, I could dispersal. It would well, dispersal actually does bounce, but it would bounce the Necro Panther. That's yeah, kind of a tough, a toughie there. So I guess I'll just discovery. All right, I did have a bounce spell in my deck. <laughs> Send to sleep and turnabout are gonna be the ways I win this match. Okay. Uh, Graveyard. Like, I'm gonna burn, like, just silly dark rituals here for no reason. Does it have lifelink? It doesn't have lifelink. Okay. 
I think I have another random cat. Yeah, this end of turn, I'm just going to burn this Dark Ritual for no reason. For absolutely no reason. Alright, go, Burn Mystic, go. You can do this. I have three turnabouts in my deck, so... Um... Gabney's pretty big. Gabney's big time. Sure. I might just take this four. Because I know I have a bunch of turnabouts in my deck. Use his turnabout, or Dark Ritual. Just gonna make another mana. Really wanna make another mana here. Or a bird, rather. Yeah, I know I can just turn on my opponent a bunch. So that's that's my route. <laughs> that's just my route to victory here. I'm gonna make another guy, I guess. This is my turn. I was very lucky to draw my one of Mystic. <laughs> I was very lucky to draw my one of Mystic. Uh, Orm Shant doesn't beat this. I still get my. I guess I still get to resolve my spell. So. We got a sack of land. They have plenty of land, so. Gavany. I kind of drew the correct sequence of cards, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I I really drew like the perfect sequence of cards to beat a Deafening Silence on board. Creatures. I will tap. Creatures. This is why turnabout's so good, because you can win these, like, dumb board states. I might actually start playing two of these. Bottom, man. Great. Full-on attack. I'm very confident about this. Upkeep. I'm just going to tap all their creatures. Why not? This is how you beat Deafening Silence. <laughs> they could obviously play a creature to block my guy here. But I do have eight birds, and I have another turn about play. The only way they can beat this now is if they play a, uh, a Witchbane Orb or something to give them Hexproof. I actually just kill them with the turnabout now. Yeah, zero cards left. I just tap down all their creatures, attack for nine. Out. Yeah. All right. Hard the hard way. Luckily, I found the one of Mystic, and I just. Had the correct amount of cards, but that is the hard way. <laughs> we'll call that one the hard way. All right, round five of the uh, dreadful black storm. I get this three two. I'll keep this hands. Cloudpost. Uh, depending on what color they're playing in their Cloudpost deck, this could be a good match for a terrible matchup. It really just depends. If they're like a blue Cloudpost deck, maybe it might be a little rough. If they're like a green Cloudpost deck, I'm not super worried. Although I could die really quickly. A lot of mana. A lot of life too, but I get around that. The Bearer's Blade. Uh, I'll keep that on top. Cryptier to Vigilance and Trample. Or Cryptier dies, put it on. Okay. Uh, the only reason this matchup is kind of scary is because they just get on the board a lot quicker.
maybe they play like a gigantic um Eldrazi or something like that. I mean, they already have four mana, so let's see. Cosmolux Predator. That's still a lot of mana. <laughs> I probably should have played the blue land. I don't need two non-blue sources on the field. Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. Okay, it's only seven or more. This is a, this is a lot of damage. Um, it's it's not like it is a lot of damage. Pretty quick clock, honestly. Well, they don't put anything else in the field. Wait, wait a little bit. Just wait a second. Okay, there we go. Nest and, yeah, Nest Invader, I was going to say. Alright, so that, that, that changes the clock quite a bit. It's only a two-turn clock. So I need to hit on his deep analysis. Unless I play like a gigantic haste creature. I could also just Shimmer. I have a lot of cards in my hand. I don't know what I need here. This turnabout kind of makes some mana. He can also hit me double double sins, and that would have been really bad because I don't even have any dark rituals in my hand. So hopefully I don't die in it. Hopefully I just don't die this turn. I could add like a big miscutter hydra or something like that. That'd be a bit tragic. Okay, Endbringer, that's not going to end the game here. Okay. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go now. We gotta go, we gotta go. I could cast my Desire for four, um, the world. Needed that a mana, though, so I can't play that tap land. Looking for a dark ritual would be nice. Um, okay. Um. Oh, I I could have cast another spell there. I'm gonna net like I'm gonna net one mana. I could have kept like the knop or something at some point. Did chain a lot of spells though. Alright, this is a good mind desire. Mind desire for six is not that bad. This is the best I got though. But I kinda of, all right. Okay. Um. Need spells though. Okay. Okay. That was pretty strong. <laughs> wow. Wow. So I have to cast this other lines of desire. I could. I guess I could. Um. Deep analysis myself here. But. The, that means I have to find like more cards here. It adds one more storm. But anything I have, I have to hit a lot here. I mean, I shouldn't miss. I, I shouldn't miss, right? Okay, there's a dark ritual. Okay, this game. 
I have both ri I have both tendrils on my hand, so I need to hit the dark ritual. <laughs> okay, this game's a bit over. Small, honestly, bigger. Yeah, turnabout. We'll make all a bunch of mana. All right. I haven't bothering playing the amulets. I already have like double tendrils in my hand. All right. <laughs> Could have been worse, but we got there. Do a bunch of free spells. Free spells are pretty good. All right. Mono green cloud post ramp. I guess I like Temporal Fisher a bit. Um, they're playing a ton of creatures. Maybe like Send to Sleep could be fine. I think that's all I'm going to sideboard. I want to keep this hand so bad, but it, it requires me to draw like a one out of my ten black lands. It's high risk. It's a super high risk hand. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. It's it's a really good hand. If I draw a swamp, but if I don't draw any lands, it's really bad. So I'm just gonna do it because I'm up a game. <laughs> All right, they kept they mulligan the six. God. Oh god. Oh, maximum greed is gonna get punished here. Oh god. I shouldn't have actually discarded the tendrils. I, I might be able to cast that. With a bunch of rituals. Oh, they have so much mana. Okay, they're not doing anything though with it. Oh, I, I drew a deep analysis. Really bad. I I, I think I F six a bunch. They're also F sixing. Okay, they're not doing anything. Okay, there's a, a lot of mana. There's a ton of mana on the field. I've got like eight mana on turn four. Nice and. Nice and fair here. Conduit of Ruin. It's got a tutor for something. Alright, Greed is not my friend here. Let's see what they get. They get an Eldrazi. I guess the game's over. A Crusher. Desolation Twin. They can't even cast that yet. Actually, no. It's for 8. It'll cost 2. The problem is I don't have a frantic search for this to be really good. Okay, there's the land. Okay, um, we're gonna try. I'm not dead yet, so I am gonna try this. <laughs> I gained so much life. Okay, you got your twin. You don't have to cast. It's actually cast eight. It's not ten. It's only eight mana because. Do a conduit out. Conduit reduces your first spell, uh, creature spell cast by two. Can we figure that out. All right, so this has to be. <laughs> I need to draw like a frantic search right here. Frantic search right here would be very ideal. <gasps> no, this is there's no justice if I win this. There's absolutely no justice if I win this. Um There's absolutely no justice if I win this. There's no justice in this world. Oh god, there's 
actually no justice if I win. Oh, hold on. Um, no matter what, it makes some mana. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let me just... It's basically just a free spell. Yeah, let me look for... A ritual, I guess, would be pretty good? Ritual would be really good. I have a deep, I have a deep analysis in my graveyard. Um... I guess I have to cast... to cast this. Okay, this is... Fr okay, this has to hit here. This flips. Ritual will be really good. Frantic Search is really good here. Um, It just makes a bunch of mana. I can name me any cards, but it's, it makes a bunch of mana for Mind's Desire to be really good. God, there's no justice in this world. I should have never won. <laughs> should have never kept this one lander. Okay, it's gonna be gigantic Mind's Desire. There's no justice. No justice. I can't believe this worked. I can't believe this worked out. Okay. The maximum amount of desires I can cast here. I have one Tendril's Art in my graveyard, so. Another Mind's Desire. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There. Oh my gosh. This actually worked out to be perfect. I'm glad I went for it for the camera, but it's like, ugh, this should not have been a, a hand I should have kept. It doesn't matter. Um, this was like incredibly lucky in my part. <laughs> yeah, just, I, I do need to go to like 14 here. Um, tap. Um, uh, It really doesn't matter. Um, um okay. Tendril's here. Jeez. Jeez. I drew like the perfect card. I drew the perfect card at the perfect time, because Frantic Search is an incredibly fair magic card. And I have another mind desire. I have another I had another Mind's Desire, even off this Mind's Desire. That's, that's, ugh. I think my opponent had such a good start, too, but I was just able to, I had the correct amount of cards. I can't believe that happened. Better lucky than good. Just better lucky than good. But it's, it's a lot about, like, identifying what you need at certain points and just knowing what to do from there. I think a lot of people get tripped up over that. And that's, that's just, like, practice. Like, I knew the hand was busted if I drew the correct amount of cards, but... Better lucky than good. You gotta take, you gotta take those wins. You gotta take them and walk away. Don't feel ashamed, that's just the deck. You just take them and you walk away. <laughs> you just... Okay, he's waiting on the last one. He gained some life, it won't matter. It just won't matter, I just mind desire again. Okay, my point says GG. Yeah, I'm waiting on the last trigger here. But yeah, that's... Oof. That, was, that was a incredible sequence. <laughs> okay, they're just, they're just waiting. They have, to, they have to let the last one resolve here.
Yeah, that's... I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I have nothing else to say about this, except let me just leave with my win. What's up, guys? Just a boy, Jim. I can hear back with the final thoughts of my Black Storm. I went 3-2. and two. Uh, not bad, not a bad record. Um, I got super unlucky against that green white deck. Um, I I think I played everything right, and I just had a double orms chant. So I'm like, what do you do? Maybe you gotta bring a Jurassic against decks like that. But that's just like so many cards. Um, my other I forgot my other loss. Um, oh, the other storm deck. Um, yeah, that just happens. It was just like I just got a little unlucky. Um, but yeah, I think I showcase the deck in like really interesting ways um i think this deck's pretty fine i mean there's a lot of flex slots here discovery dispersal like it's just okay uh, you could play peer through the apps like i said i think that's honestly a fine look sometimes you're just looking for certain things so just getting that value out of deep analysis is not super great so maybe i might switch this with like a peer through depths uh i really like my sideboard i think i would play a second mystic um mystic has really pulled its weight a lot so maybe like cut a terramander for a second mystic um, I don't know. Boomerang is fine. Tend to sleep, like, it's fine. Dress is fine. The Temporal Fisher is fine. I don't think I ever really used it for any good, uh, but I do like just having one of this effect. Um, yeah, this deck is, it's, it's really good. Honestly, it's one of the better Storm decks. I think it, like, I, I, I think it went off with Amulet, without Amulet, because just Mind Desire is just kind of a broken magic card. So, especially when you can play four of them in your deck. Um, so, I think this deck's really good. Um, if your opponent's playing white, obviously bring in boomerangs and maybe duresses. It depends. It, 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 and that's, I think, like, white is the best anti, uh, uh, anti storm color because, because of all the, the mix ups they can do. They can mix up, like, uh, you know, definitely silences, ivory masks, like, orms chance silences. So you never know what you're really going to get. So, um, yeah, uh, I think, um, I think the deck is great. I think if you want to play Storm, one, practice. Two, don't play Brain Freeze. Three, please play uh, Dismal Backwater. And four, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Because um, sometimes you get these weird situations where you don't know what to do or what you're trying to dig for. So that is what practice comes in. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, like, follow, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you next time. Hope your Storm went off.